Good morning and welcome to the Sweet Beats channel. Today we are looking at the five tips of how to hold your drumsticks correctly. So we're looking at stick grips. Um, so I'm going to show you five different ways and we're going to start with number one. Number one is quite simple, it's not even holding the sticks, it's actually how we sit at the drum set to begin with. If you learn any instrument like the piano for instance, I'm sure teachers explain the correct posture. So it's very important before we even grab a pair of sticks in our hand, thinking about how we're sitting. The way I teach my students is I tend to tell them to sit with a, a straight back, so you're supported from your midsection, your back, and you sit straight, but your arms should be very loose at the side. And I often give the analogy, if you're trying to run 100 metres quickly, there's no way you can run fast if you're stiff. So you're not going to see Usain Bolt win the 100 metre run like this. So you've got to be very loose in the hands, so when you're moving around the kit, it's fluid and you're in control of what you're doing. But your strength comes from your core, so you need to sit nice and straight when you're playing the drum set. Tip two. Okay, so there's two ways we can hold our drumstick. There is this way, and there is this way. This style of playing is called the traditional grip and it comes very much from when soldiers used to march into battle and their snare drums would be slung to the side. So it makes sense, this grip, that you're holding it like this and playing it here as you're marching. Now, as the drum set evolved, and obviously everything came to the front here, we developed this technique of matched grip because obviously we've got matched sticks. So this kind of uh, way of playing the traditional grip is kind of going out of style a little bit. I mean, when you think about the old bebop players, go back to like Tony Williams and before that Buddy Rich, Gene Krupa, um, a lot of these guys you'll see playing like this. I mean, I tend to use this grip still today, but I, I more than likely use it for playing brushes just because I like the way it feels. I know I remember hearing Dave Weckl in an interview saying, because he tends to play traditional, but sometimes he flips the match and he says it's just being what he feels like doing at the time, sort of natively. Um, but he tends to play more like this. So. The main tip two is holding it in traditional grip. And the way we work it is, if you are right-handed like me, you hold the right stick straight like this, and then the left one's slightly different. So where the fulcrum is between the thumb and the first finger, that's where we hold the drumstick. And then for the traditional grip, it's the same, but the fulcrum, rather than being here between the thumb and the first finger, it's here, here in the crease of our thumb and first finger. Then we literally rest it over our ring finger like this, and we have this kind of action here. In the left hand, it is here, the fulcrum, and then we wrap our fingers round. What we're looking for, though, the most important thing we're looking for is something we call the balance point. And this is where the stick naturally rebounds for us, so it will do a lot of the work for us. So if I'm too far back on the stick like this, it's just going to drop into the head and we're not going to get any rebound. Likewise, if I go too far forward, it's really working against us. So what you want to do is try and drop the stick onto the head. I've got a pad here, just so it's not too loud, and see where the balance point is. And you can hear it, it's getting a natural rebound around there. Once we've done that, we hold it with the two fingers and then wrap these fingers around as a support mechanism. Yeah, and again, like I was saying with the posture, don't be too tight on it. You can't be tight, you've got to be loose. Same thing happens with this. We find our balance point and rather than it being here, we're now here and we're set up for the traditional grip. So we can play our singles, doubles, paradiddles. Tip three, and this is the match grip. Now, we just spoke just then about finding the balance point. So once you find the balance point in the right hand, do exactly the same with the left hand. And then we pick our sticks up. Now, when we're playing here, we want Nice straight back, arms nice and loose. And our hands, we don't want the thumbs on top at the minute and we don't want them down here. We want them sort of in the middle, which is kind of, I suppose, how the Americans have evolved it. So again, singles, doubles, paradiddles, flams. We can do all of these with these grips. Tip four. So tip four, again, is gonna be in a match grip position, but this time, rather than being in between, we're actually gonna play with our thumbs on top. Now this technique is called the French timpani grip and this is very good for speed. If you want to get fast. People use this a lot. If you want to check out people like Billy Cobham springs to mind, he tends to use a lot of thumb on top. So it's very, very good for speed. So it's the same thing again with the balance point, nice straight back, nice and loose in the arms. But rather than being this in between, like tip three with that match grip, we're going to go to the thumb on top and get French timpani. Tip five. 
Again, we're going to be in the match grip, but this time we're going to turn our hands over. So rather than our thumbs being on top like the French timpani, we're going to turn palms down. And this is called the German timpani grip. And this is really good for power. At the minute, everything I'm showing you is literally just looking at the grip. We're not looking at any finger control at the minute or wrist or arm or elbow. Obviously, if you check out Joe Mayer's DVD, he goes into a long, long length about how to start using these things. All we're really interested in the minute is just looking at these grips. So like I said, whereas the French timpani has the thumb on top of the speed, we're going to flip our hands over, so palms down, so we can get a lot of power into our playing. Hey, so if you like what I've done today on the five top tips for stick grips, please remember to like and subscribe and share. If you click on the link at the bottom, it's there. On Friday, rather than doing recaps now, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to be showing you um, some reviews on snare drums. So I'm going to go through all my snare drums, starting this Friday with this bad boy here, the Ludwig Black Beauty. See you Friday.